In this lecture, we are going to write a program to find the maximum element in a given array. So we are going to find the largest element or the maximum element for the array that is being provided by the user. Okay. So in this lecture, we are going to write our very first program to work with an array. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to define an array, right? Let's say that our array is of integer type. So I write int, data type is int. Let's say the array name is ARR. Okay. And let's let me assign the size of the array. So let me assign the size of the array to be 10. Okay, so I can hold maximum of 10 elements. So I can hold maximum of 10 elements can be stored in this array. Okay, so that is the maximum limit of my array, it can hold maximum of 10 elements, but I'll ask the user the size of the array, let's say this n is the size of the array this size n must be always less than or equals to 10 because the maximum capacity of my array is 10 okay so my n should always be less than or equals to 10 okay so now i'll ask the user to enter the size of the array okay so let let me do the input of the array so i'll ask right printf enter the size of your array let the size be less than equals to 10 okay so let the size always be less than equals to 10 now i take the array size by doing the scan f here scan f uh, and the array size is percentage d m percent n n is my array size so now in my array there are 10 number of elements now let's input the array elements so i'll ask the user to enter all array elements enter all your percentage d number of elements percentage d is nothing but the size of the array so i am asking the user to enter all your elements so now i write a for loop to actually take the input because I have n number of elements. So I'll run a loop starting from i equals to zero because the array index starts from zero. I should be less than n. It should go up to less than n i plus plus. Okay. So this is a loop that will help me to take the array elements individually. Right. So I'll also have to declare the variable i at the top. Okay, so i is done. So here what I'll do is I'll just write scan f. Okay, because I'm scanning the array. So percentage d okay so m percent a i so i'm scanning the element at the index i and i'm storing the value in the index i of the array a okay so this keeps on running for n number of times therefore it scans or takes the input of all n different elements of the array okay so this input of the array is done so now let's try to quickly check the array output okay let's try to check the array output that means what is the content of the array okay so again i need i can use our loop to print the array elements so i'll print here array elements are okay so this is just a message that i'm printing here and i'll just paste the for loop that i had copied earlier okay here instead of scanf i'll just write printf because i have to print the entire array so i have to have a loop to print the entire array okay so i'll just remove this m percent because i don't need this so i'll give a space after printing each element so at the end i'll just print the new line okay so this is not the complete program just i've taken the array input and the output is done okay so I'm, i would like to test my program before i proceed so here i'm following the principle called as code a little test a little i have not written my entire program to find the maximum element i have written a portion of my program that is to define the array right take the array input and displaying the array right so this is just my one part of my uh, entire code so i've just coded a little so i've coded a little i'll test that first once that works fine I'll move on with the next part of the code. Okay, so let's proceed with that. So, so this is very nice uh, principle that you know you code a little and then test a little. Okay, let us try to compile this code. Okay, so the code compilation is uh, there is an error. A is not declared, right? A is not declared because my array name is arr and it's not a. Okay, so I've used a wherever I've used a, I have to change that to arr. Okay, so I'll just make these changes arr. Here also I'll make these changes ARR, okay, because array name is ARR and not A, okay, compile it again, okay, compilation is done, okay, there's no error now, okay, now let's try to test this once, okay, enter the size of the array, let's say that my size of the array is 5, I just want 5 elements to be entered in the array, so let the element be 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, so the elements are 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, so it works fine. Okay, so the array input and the output works fine. Okay, so now we can actually proceed. So array output will just uh, keep it here as it is. Okay, now the real coding begins, right? We need to do the processing. How do we find the maximum element in an array? So first of all, let's test our logic on this. Okay, let's say this is an array. Okay, array A. This is an array A or array ARR, whatever it is. Okay, it is having how many elements? Seven elements starting from index zero to index six. Now, how do I find the maximum element in this array? Okay, let's say I'm storing my maximum element in the variable m. Okay, now whenever you are writing a program, 
you have to think as a computer now see computer will not be able to access all these elements at once it can't glance through all these elements at the once right so at once it can only visualize one or two numbers at a time so let's say it can only look or visualize only one number at a time so first of all it is only having a access of number two that is the first number at index zero so it will assume that this itself is the maximum number it will assume that maximum number is two because it has not seen any other numbers as of now now you slowly you will reveal numbers one by one now you reveal one more number now there's one more number eight revealed now you will compare the current maximum that is two with eight now if you compare eight with two eight is larger than two so my new maximum is eight now eight is my maximum now the number three is revealed right now you compare three with maximum eight eight is larger than three so maximum is eight right now i move to the next element so the next element that is revealed is nine so i compare the maximum eight with nine nine is larger than eight so my new maximum is nine okay now i reveal the next number that is 12 i compare 12 and 9 9 is my maximum as of now so i see 12 is more than 9 so i get a new maximum so 12 is my maximum i compare 12 with 3 because 3 is revealed now 3 is smaller than 12 so there's no change in the maximum value maximum is 12 itself right now i compare 12 with 13 13 is revealed now right so 13 and 12 comparison 13 is larger than 12 so my new maximum is 13 now I have reached the end of the array, so I did not do the comparison further. So finally, I can conclude the maximum number in my case is 13, which is the correct answer, right? I hope the logic is clear, okay? So here you have to think as a computer. You, you just have the access of one number at a time. You reveal next number, and then you reveal the next number, and you keep on proceeding until you reach the end of the array. Therefore, you will find the maximum number. Let's try to put this in the code here. So to hold the maximum value, I'll have to have one variable okay let's say that variable is m m will hold my maximum value okay so initially i'm assuming my m is nothing but a0 the first element is assumed to be the maximum value because i just have the access of the first element at once okay so i'll assume that first element that is the element at index 0 is the maximum this is my assumption i have other elements in the array as well at index 1, there is one more element. Index 2, there is one more element. So the last index is n minus 1. So index 1 to index n minus 1, there are elements with which I need to check the maximum number, right? So I'll have to run a loop here, starting from i equals to 1, because index 0, already the element is stored in the maximum variable, m variable. So I start the loop here from index i equals to 1. I go up to i less than n till the last index and i plus plus, okay? So here I'll have to compare the element at index i with the maximum okay so i'll compare element at index i is nothing but ai element at index i with the maximum m okay how do i do the comparison if the element at index i happens to be greater than the maximum that means i found a new maximum this means i found a new maximum number new number that is larger than the old number right so my maximum number or the larger number is nothing but my element at index i so i write ai so this loop skips on running once the loop ends it will come out of the loop so here the variable m would be having the largest value so i'll just print here printf uh, maximum is percentage d okay and then i'll just write m okay so i'm trying to print the maximum value so in this uh, if what i'm doing is if i find a new maximum i'm updating the maximum otherwise there is no need to update the previous maximum itself is the maximum right that we have already discussed in the logic okay let's try to compile this code and see if it really works fine as we have uh, done it here okay compile this code here so there is an error a is not declared right every time i'm making this mistake right my array name is arr and not a okay so i need to change this to arr okay change this to arr okay and wherever i'm using a i make the changes to arr okay but this is the best part right whenever you are compiling your code the compiler will give you an error right so as i've already discussed compiler are our friends right because they are giving us the error messages and error messages helps us to identify what is the problem so here i've identified that you know a was not declared because i've used it incorrectly it should be arr right so once this is fixed i compile it again there's no error anymore right and then i run it okay enter the size of the array so let's say the size of the array is five Let's, let me enter the values randomly, 5, 1, 9, 4, and 7. So it says that maximum is 9. 
you can test this with other input also let's say the array size is six let me enter the number in ascending order one two three four five six and it works fine the maximum is six right you can also do the same thing with the descending order numbers let's give the array size as five and let the number be nine eight seven six five and says the maximum is nine so it works with all sort of input right it is giving you the maximum of the number in an array right so i hope you have understood how this really works now before we actually end this lecture let's try to see a very interesting thing here right so in this array here if you see my array size is maximum limited to 10 right and i'm taking the input as n i'm just using n number of elements now let's take one input here and let's see i run this and array size i'd enter it as let's say 12 right so generally i'm i am not allowed to use 12 elements right i just have how many elements maximum i can hold 10 elements but i give the input as 12 so my loop will run for 12 times right so let me enter the value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it's still taking the number 10, 11, 12. It is taking all the 12 numbers, right? But after 10, if you see, these 10 numbers are fine. But see, after that, I had given the number as 11 and 12. This has somehow happened to be 11, but the last number is again coming as 11. That means these two numbers are the garbage numbers, okay? So what I'm trying to demonstrate here is, although we have given the maximum size to be 10, but, you know, bound checking is not done by default in C okay array bound check is not done by default okay not done by default okay by default it will not check what is the maximum bound of the array okay it was 10 it is not strict after 10 also it will try to insert some values right if there is a free location available in your memory so the so the array bound checking is not done by the compiler it has to be taken care by the user or the programmer in this case the maximum size is 10 but still, we were allowed to enter 12 numbers. So those two numbers were placed in the memory and that is not the valid location in the memory, right? That is not a good way of programming, okay? So whenever you are writing a program, you need to yourself do the bound check, right? So to do the bound check, what you can do here is, we'll, we'll put an if statement here. If my array size n happens to be greater than 10, that means this is out of the bound, right? So I'll just write printf array size exceeded right i'm just giving this message that array size is exceeded and then i'll again ask the user to enter the size of the array so i'll just write go to statement we have already run go to i'll go to the my label one let's say i'll make give a level one here i'll put my level one okay l a b e l one okay so at level one it'll go and it'll ask the user to enter the uh, size one more time so this will make sure that your size will always be less than or equals to 10 therefore always the bound check is taken care of Let's try to compile this. Now let's run this. Okay. Now let's give the array size as 12. It says array size exceeded. Right. Let me give uh, 15. It says array size is exceeded. Okay. But if I give the array size 5, so it will ask me to enter the 5 elements. Okay. Now we have done the bound checking. Okay. So in this lecture, we have learned how we can actually use an array to solve our problem. Right. We have also learned that bound checking is not done in the array by default right so that we need to do it on our own and we have actually solved this problem to find the maximum element in an array using our own logic to find the maximum element in the array okay so i hope you have learned how to actually work with the array how to initialize the array how to take the input from the array and how to put our own logic and you know put a loop and solve our problem using an array so that's all in this lecture stay tuned